I'm fine. It's just a really bad cold. It's our first vacation together. <laughs> Emergency room's not on the itinerary. Thumbs 100.4. Stan, it's barely a fever. God forbid he let on that he's sick. I've got a stubborn one also. Mm. Me too. Lymph nodes are enlarged. All right. I'm gonna have you open your mouth for me. He hasn't eaten in three days. Can barely sip water, hurts that bad. Throat is pretty raw, tonsils are swollen, yellow exudate. What's that? Pus. Maybe an infection. See, we should have come yesterday. I'll get a rapid strep test. Uh, let's get a CBC and BMP also. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just wanted the trip to be perfect. And I just want you to be healthy. Well, hopefully we can solve both of your problems. I'll be back shortly. Hi, guys. Uh, so, Tommy, you do not have strep, but your body is most likely fighting off a bacterial infection. So I'm going to start you on clindamycin, which is an oral antibiotic. Whatever the bug, it'll take care of him. Mm -hmm. So we can get out of here? Yes, but please just try to take it easy the next few days. As cliche as it is, rest is the best medicine. I won't let him leave the hotel, promise. Ow! Are you OK? My ankle. Why don't you let me take a look? Whoa, that's really red. You didn't feel anything? Uh -uh. Hot and fluctuant. I and dear. Yeah. Well, I'm going to make a small incision so that we can get a sample, OK? All right, and when I ask you to, I'm going to have you take a deep breath and exhale for me, OK? hurt a little bit, all right? Take a deep breath in. Good. And another one. And again. Good. And one last time. Great job. All right, here comes the incision. <gasps> oh. Oh. Stab was in my throat. How did it get at his ankle? Let's just wait and see what the lab says. Bad news, though, you guys are going to have to hang out here a little bit longer. I'm sorry. All right. If you need anything, I'll be close by. Yeah, bacteria can travel once it enters the bloodstream, but for a new infection to manifest that fast. Yeah, something's definitely going on. Stay in the lab, OK? Yeah. Hannah. Hannah. Oh my god. Tommy? Help! Help! What's happening? Tubs up to 104. He's tacky. He's 94 over 62. Septic shock. First dose of egg didn't work. Bolus, a liter of normal saline, and push IV Tylenol. Tommy, can you open your mouth for me? What, what are you looking for? Abscesses that weren't there earlier. Nothing dental, oral. Help me search his skin. Nothing on this side. Here, Arthur. Get a cooling blanket. He should be getting better, but he's only getting worse. It's gonna be okay. It's okay. Deja vu. Oh, I, I had pneumonia right after college. Spent two weeks in the hospital, Waukesha, Wisconsin. Let me guess, same vending machines? It's amazing. Cafeteria makes a great smoothie. No, I, I want to stay close to Tommy. I'll find something. Hey. Hey. Tommy's latest labs. He doesn't have a staph infection. Vancomycin resistant enterococcus. A superbug? Yeah, and one that is not easy to get. Theory is a nosocomial infection. It lives in hospitals. I don't think I've ever seen it contracted anywhere else. Hannah, she had pneumonia a decade ago, was hospitalized for two weeks, could have picked it up then, had it ever since. Asymptomatic carrier. Intimate relationship. Lots of ways she could have passed it on. OK, let's start Tommy on ivy linizolid, swab Hannah's nose and throat for the bacteria, confirm she's the source. Got it.
I got this from Hannah? How? I, I don't have a sore throat, no fever, aches, pains. I'm not sick. You don't have an active infection, but since you're pneumonia, you've been contagious. For 10 years? I work in an office, cross paths with dozens of people every day, not to mention boyfriends before Tommy. No one else has ever gotten sick. We're gonna run some tests and find out exactly what it is. Honey, I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. You had no idea. Yeah. Besides, I'm, I'm feeling better. It means that mm. these antibiotics are working, right? Yes. Put Anna on them, kill whatever yeah. bug she's been dragging around the last 10 years. Um, I'm afraid it's not that simple. You see, as a carrier, you're colonized with the bacteria, which means it lives in too many places in your body for the antibiotic to be effective. You mean, I've got this forever? I'm afraid so. Then I could give it to Tommy again. With precautions, the risk of reinfection can't be reduced. Oh, this, can't, this can't be happening. <laughs> can deal with it. Yeah. We'll figure it out.